Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Fever today on Path of Titans. That's right, we're back on here, and what we're doing on here, we're doing a mod review of this beautiful the carnivore dinosaur. That uh, well, it's one of the newest ones. That's right. Yes, I know you were excited for this mod review today, uh, but this is not going to be the only one because there's going to be at least another two more until I can find more, uh, or at least until more can come out. But definitely, we're going to be doing the normal routine of drinking, eating, and collecting, and delivering, and all of that other stuff, and the emotes of this beautiful beast. Uh, its name is just a... Well, it's it, it's a weird name called Yatronus. Uh, you you'll see the name of it of the uh, thumb. Well, not the thumbnail, but the uh, uh what's that? The description of the name of the of the video. Whatever. Uh, but definitely this beast is a awesome creature, and it's a pretty much a good breeder. Um, it could definitely breed things out. So definitely worth getting if what something that does breed. Yes, we really like you. But we'll show you how this beautiful creature drinks. Well, I mean, it's a typical normal way of how you drink and stuff. How Carnivores does drink. I mean, you could tell it doesn't have the biggest arms. But it's just a beautiful dinosaur. It does have a few skins. Not many of them, but it does have a small bit. So we're going to be showing you those skins. And uh, everything about them and stuff like that, but definitely, I just I just enjoy this creature. Indeed, I do. And let's go up here to the top of this mountain. As you can see, it, it does run pretty decent. And my trees, get my way, get my way. I need to get up here to eat. Not that hungry, but well. Ooh, it's very clear, yeah. I went the wrong way. And right over here is this. And what's back up a little bit? So it just rips the meat off the uh, carcass and you know, just completely eats it like a normal carnivore would. We expect it's a carnivore, a beautiful carnivore at that. I gotta say, who uh, the mod, the mod developer that did this, you did a wonderful job. I mean, heck, all the mod developers has done the all these other mods I've covered has done a wonderful job of actually doing these mods. Uh, I really like them. I really do enjoy them, and they're fun to really enjoy and sit back and play. But there we go. We ate. The carcass, and now we will see how it picks things up. Um, but we'll also show you how it collects because I don't remember how it collects. It's yeah, but it's a cool, nice dinosaur to have. And we're also going to show you the attacks and the animations and all of that. Um, the there's some flowers over here. Okay. Of course, normally what a Comor does is pick it up with its mouth. I mean, come on now. It's a dinosaur. It really doesn't have the biggest arms. So as you can see right there, it's, that's how small its arms are. Cute, right? Yeah. There we go. Flowers right here. We'll complete this quest and then we'll go ahead and do something that wants us to collect. It wants us to collect flowers now. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. That is a... Yeah. So it just basically sticks his arms and sticks them outwards to collect the flowers. So, okay. I guess it does have good sized arms to reach down there and collect these flowers. Or mushrooms or whatever you're trying to collect. Look at that. I'm trying to do some push-ups there with his arms. Very small arms you got there, buddy. Very small arms. Yeah, very small arms. Uh, indeed, they are small. 
and I don't think they're going to be the biggest arms you're going to find on a dinosaur. Oh, actually, to be honest, T-Rex has smaller arms than this, so, yeah. I guess that's the downside about a T-Rex, right? I get some more. And there we go. Now let's go down back to the beach. Um, what do I think about this beautiful beast though? I think it's just a nice dinosaur to have. Um, especially if you want to start stacking bleeds on your enemies. Just, it has really good bleed. Um, I find out by playing the PvP areas of the game on like a server, official servers. Uh, because if you're playing, well not official, but the community servers I should say. If you're playing with them, you're definitely going to find out this thing has really good bleed. But, let's get some stamina back. While we're getting some stamina, let's lay down. Look at that, it just completely lays down. Like, what? that's just freaking cool. Uh, okay, the character. Now, like I said, it has have the original plain Jane um, normal skin that you get by default, which is, it also depends. It has a little bit of white, oranges, and black with it. I mean, you could also change the colors if you want to, and the patterns are completely different. You can have a pattern like this, or a pattern like that, but I went with this pattern. Now, it does have this one, which is is a little bit of like a black with a whitish, with a yellow uh, markings on its crust, on its head. Uh, this will cost you 1,500 marks. Um, this is probably like the cheapest dinosaur of them all, I think. Because there's this one, which is like more like a, a, a zebra, a leopard, or it, it has stripes down its whole body, these markings on its face, and like a white on its crust as well. Um, it's more like a with a little like a yellowish uh, color to it. Yeah, like a yellowish with a little bit of like a black in there as well. Looks like. Um, but this will cost you 4,000 marks, as you can see here. The last one, and this is the most expensive, but it looks like it has some stripes down its body, on its face, which makes it so freaking deadly. Yeah, like, extremely deadly. Uh, it has a lot of black in it, with a little bit of grayish look towards it. This will cost you 7,500 marks, and again, you can probably change up the pattern as well. Yeah, you can. There's one with the dots on it, or there's another one with different, different stripes and stuff. But depending on which way you want to do it. Then it's abilities. It has three major attacks right here. It has a bite, causes medium damage. Then a bleeding bite. Uh, charge a bite that deals damage and bleed that scales the longer you hold it. So longer you hold the button, longer the bleed and the damage you're going to do. Uh, gritting teeth. Sharpen your teeth to ensure bleed damage for 60 seconds. Now this has a big cooldown on to let you know about that. It has a pretty decent cooldown, like a 2 minute cooldown on it. Then uh, there's the claw swipe, a claw attack that causes low damage and bleed. Again, another bleed attack. Uh, this doesn't do no bleed, but this would. But if you would stack the bleeding bite with the Reaching teeth and then have the front limb attack, you're really doing a lot of bleed to the enemy. Then you have Hyper Carnivore, uh, only able to eat meat, food rain, and much slower. Then you have a Duelist, can eat meat, bones, fruit, and nuts. It has faster food drain though, so let you know about that. Then you have Hide standard, uh, standard stats with no positive or negative traits. Then thick scales increase defense and better turning radius at this cost of speed. So you're losing speed, but you gain defense and turning radius. Thin hide uh, decreases defense, increases movement speed. So you're losing movement speed, but you're gaining defense at the same time. Then you have two different tail attacks. Tail slap, uh, an attack that causes light damage and knock back so that's actually for pretty much really good for something like a compi or something that's very small or something that wants to get behind you and you could do a knockback. 
uh, steady tail uh, removes the ability to attack with your tail to improve your turning radius. So this will what I'm reading to be right is reduce give you better turning radius, but you can't attack with your tail. So yeah, and then you have voice increased damage of your group for 10 seconds can be stacked twice. So if you use that, and I'm not sure about the cooldown or not, but we're going to see about the cooldown. Um, if you have like a decent uh, group of these guys, and these are all in, you know, a group in the game, you could use this to really hurt a another herbivore or anything that wants to come near you and wants to cause trouble towards you and your team. <coughs> Sorry for that, guys. Um, hang on, let me get a little drink here real quick. Sorry for that. Um, definitely, yeah. Uh, that's what that could be used for. But let's look at these attacks. Now let's do the normal bite. Okay. That's the sharpened teeth. So it will do bleed. And as you can see, it's like two minute fifty some second cooldown it lasts for like a good bit and then we'll have that one and then as you can see tail attack but it also looks like our voice is on a cooldown as well so let's change the one thing not this one we'll change this one to that oh I must be laying down to do it probably Okay. All right, there we go. <clears throat> we gotta wait till the other thing comes off a cooldown. But let's do this. Well, as you see, I hold it down pretty fast. But let's wait. Let's wait. So, the longer you hold it down, more likely more of a effectively damage you're going to do and bleed and doesn't have the biggest cooldown so like I said while the other thing is on cooldown you can use that even if you want to use small bite forces you can which really could mean the thing you're fighting could really be killed really quickly yeah I'm just waiting for the other thing to go for cooldown so we can hear what the scream or the sound of it sounds like but definitely what I think about this creature is well it's definitely worth getting or at least picking up the mod I do enjoy it and I do recommend this type of mod as a creature to anyone who wants to play Path of Titans with mods uh, it's just a wonderful dinosaur and this thing has, like I said, it has a big cooldown, so be warned about your cooldowns. Be official. If you're in a group, it probably really wouldn't matter, do because you can all converse your bites and stuff. But with bunch of you doing attack like that and making your prey bleed out, it really could be pretty much very effective towards the enemy uh, especially if he's not prepared to fight against this type of creature uh, this thing is deadly at bleeding like I said but it's also a pretty cool looking dino and if we're about to have the thing come off cooldown five four three two one and what's here <laughs> So like I said, that gives us a decent, like 10 second uh, charge of more damage, so take that ability, but remember it could be stacked up twice, so if two of you use it, boom, you're getting double the damage, so that's pretty good. But you know what, let's hear these things right here, um, yeah, so tank, please be quiet. Hmm. 
Oh, that's pretty cool right there. That, I, I, you gotta admit, that is pretty nice. That's scary. We'll, we'll see that again. Yeah, very scary. You're very intimidated by... Huh. Okay, like a normal way you expect. That's the normal regular call. Let's put a shake. Oh wow, I, I never recognized him to doing that. So he shakes and then scratches his belly a little bit. That's freaking cool. Now that's a cool animation. He smells the ground and then looks up. Like I said, I think these ability like these were here could have more effect in game. Like something like that for a carnivore, you can smell out, see a pre your prey, like a trike will say a trike over there. Uh, you can use it to smell the ground, and then like you could tell where the trike went or stego or whatever you're hunting and stuff. It would be nice to do something like that in game. Or a Hovervore, they could use it as to spot a carnivore uh, before they attack and stuff, so like, you could tell when there's a carnivore nearby. But I think that's a really cool ability if Path of Dangerous would have added those. Intimidating, that was. This one right here, I really like. It looks like he's falling asleep, as you can see. Then he wakes up. <laughs> Let's look at that again. Go to sleep. <laughs> and we'll see what this one does. Like a yawn, like you're... Oh, I'm very tired, man. I'm very tired. You know, it's tiring to be a dinosaur. It's tiring being this wild life. Filled with horrible wars, carnivores. Trying to survive. And uh, this one... Hmm. Okay. And this X does nothing. But like I said, I think these abilities like this would just be nice to have as where they could have like a passive thing where they could be and allow you to do stuff like see things, smell things for a carnivore, or at least something like that I think would be nice to have. Uh, if you guys agree, please let me know in the comments. Um, but you know, that's probably going to be it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. Uh, you know, I've been enjoying doing all these mod reviews and just, you know, a lot of fun uh, actually getting a bunch of mod reviews out. Though I am sorry that I didn't get a upload last night. I was meant to do this, but I accidentally did something. I accidentally deleted the dinosaur out of my roster before we do end it off. I know I said all the other stuff, but uh, yes, the video was meant to come out last night, but I accidentally deleted the dinosaur. I was meant to delete another one, which I was on this guy at the same time, and I thought I was deleting him, deleting the other one, but I accidentally ate this one. So I'm sorry for that, but you still got it, you got it today, so yeah, there you go. But I hope you guys did enjoy it though. Um, these mod reviews has been a lot of fun to doing and just I've been enjoying every single mod that I have done so far. I love them all. I would recommend them all to everybody and I might be putting the names of the mod developer pages on the the the, uh, the mods. I might be doing that. I'm not more sure yet. If not, um, we probably won't. But if you guys want to see me do that, please let me know. Um, you know, if you want me to put the actual names and stuff down below, I will do that with my Discord will be down there as well if you want to join Discord. If not, you don't have to. It's up to you guys if you want to join or not. But, like I was saying, I hope you guys did enjoy it. I know I've I said that like three or four times. But if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to your channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye. For now.